Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's Ty, aka Glambi Ty. And by the title, y'all can already tell what kind of wig this is. By the thumbnail, y'all already see it. It's bomb. It is, I call it, my salt and pepper wig, okay? Um, it's very much giving salt and pepper. It's giving dimensions. It's giving highlights, low lights, all, all the above, okay, child? So this hair is from Ali Pearl. And they did send me, I will have all the details below. I believe this is a 22 inch. If I'm not mistaken, but like I said, I'll have everything in below. I did go on ahead and pluck this unit and bleach the knots myself. So here you guys are just seeing me cut my ear tabs off, even though I kind of already did it off camera, but y'all get the point. I was going for this deep side part. I don't know why I haven't done a side part in a while. So I was like, you know what? Let me switch it up and just do it with this. As y'all can see, this wig has a really good lace. Um, the parting is really good. As y'all can see, look. I'm about to put this bitch on my head and it's going to be scalp. Scalp. Okay, so of course I'm going to use my Boho Extreme Cream. I'm looking for a new lace glue, y'all. Help me in the comments. Help me help y'all, okay? Um, so yeah, I'm just flattening all that out, making sure that it's a thin spread layer. And I already did go on ahead and cut the lace off of my wig off camera. I use my zigzag cutting motion. If you guys want a detailed video on that, comment down below and I'll, you know, put something together for y'all. Okay, so now it's time to apply this wig. And look, look at that. Look at the way that that shit just melted on my fucking scalp. Like, it is... It, child, even with the other side not even being glued down, if I pull it, look at that. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. Yep. And this wig will be available on my website, Glam by Ty. So go on ahead and shop Glam by Ty now, okay? Um, I do sell my wigs that are customized, pre-plugged, everything. And it's going to give scalp... Some of them are glueless and some of them are just ready to wear. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys go on ahead and check my website. Okay, so here I realized that my balding cap was like a little too far. So I'm just cutting a little strip of that off and just making sure that you can't see it past my lace. You guys, please ignore Josiah in the back. He's just so talkative this morning and he just obviously wanted to be in my voiceover. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just repeating the steps on this side. And as y'all can see from the last clip, I really did not have to glue this wig down. However, I was going to Cali. I was going on vacation. And I was like, you know what? This wig got to last me at least, at least until the last day of vacation, child. Like, something got to give, okay? So I made sure that I did, I believe I did three to four layers of the lace glue. Making sure that it is nice and smooth. And yeah, then I'm going to apply that lace down. So if you've been following my channel for a while, the rule is that once your lace turns, I mean your glue turns clear, it is time to apply your lace. Now, I don't use a blow dryer. I just let it air dry completely. And then, um, yeah. So, as y'all can see, I did kind of miss a few spots, all right? And I'm not even going to hold y'all. I did. So I'm taking my, <laughs> I'm taking my lace glue and I'm just going to tie those back down. Normally, some people might just cut them off if I didn't. Like, if they didn't lay down, they'll just go back in and cut the lace off. But that was a lot of lace. And I'm like, oh, hell no. So, I went on in with a little bit of uh, the lace glue on the back of my uh, rat tail. And then I put it in and smoothed everything down. And it laid, honey. Okay, so I'm doing the same thing to the other side. And because it was a side part, it just made it easier to do one whole side. Um, I'm taking a little bit of the lace glue. I probably did like three layers. And I'm making sure everything is nice and flat. I did go a little bit over my tattoo because, yeah, it's like directly right there. <laughs> a lot of people usually think it's sideburns, child, when I got my wigs on. Because they really can't tell. But, you know, it's tattoo, love. Um, 
yeah i'm using my red tail to smooth everything out mind y'all y'all want a thin layer of glue you get a thick layer it's gonna sleep right through your lace and it ain't even gonna lay right it's gonna be cookie it's just gonna be a hot ass mess so thin layers once that completely turns clear as y'all can see here i'm going to take the lace and lay it completely down Okay, so once my lace is completely down, I'm taking the hair and I'm gonna just pinning it up. And then, as y'all can see, I obviously have to do it again because my part wasn't right or nothing, nothing, my mom. Um, so yeah, I also did realize that the side was kind of lifting. So I'm like, hold on, before I apply my scarf and actually try to tie something down, let me make sure that it's glued the fuck down first, child. So I did have to go in and take a little bit more of my bowl hole and just smooth that completely out right there. But yeah, we just got to make sure our ear tabs are down. And mind you, I went on vacation with this hair and this hair lasted me. The, the quality of the hair is really, really good. It's nice. It's soft. The lace is giving scalp, honey. Um, So yeah, nine out of 10 will recommend. The only reason why I won't give this wig a 10 is because the color is a little bit uh blotchy for me. As you can see in the front, it kind of does have like some dark hair and then blonde and then it turns into like the whitish platinum um other than that that's the only thing that i could really like say was my downfall it does shed a little bit um and i think that's because the hair is processed so yeah i give it a nine honestly okay so once i've been tying it down with my scarf look at that no baby hairs nothing this is just straight me installing it and it's giving scalp this is definitely a wig that you could wear it's completely natural it's a bomb as hell definitely recommend Okay, so what y'all see me doing here is I'm taking out a little piece, which is going to be our baby hair. Even though this wig does not need it, that's just my signature. Like, I always do baby hairs. So I'm taking out a little piece. I'm plucking the hair from it because I just felt like the hair was a little thick on there. And, yeah, I'm going to pluck it, and then I'm going to cut it, and I'm going to show you guys what products I'm using to actually lay my baby hair down today. okay so to actually lay my baby hair i'm taking this like wave foam curling foam um from Cantu, and i'm using my edge tamer brush and child i'm not even gonna hold y'all it did take me a little bit to get this baby hair to lay correctly i don't know what the fuck was going on um and that probably could have been because i didn't use my little tiny flat iron to curl the baby hair prior to me laying it um and that was my fault but you know you learn you live and you learn child So I knew because this wig already looked pretty natural that I didn't want to do like some extreme bomb, like dramatic baby hair. I wanted to keep everything pretty simple and just frame my face a little bit. So I just did those two. I'm taking a little bit of free spray to actually make sure that the baby hair is like in place and not going anywhere at all. And then I'm going to take my scarf and tie it down. Just 
so boom once we take our scarf off this is what it's looking like i'm taking my hot comb and just making sure everything is flat if your wig is not flat honey you did not do it right okay the wig should not have no lumps it should not have nothing and i ain't gonna hope y'all my hair ain't all the way braided underneath here okay i got on little um two strand twists underneath this wig and you wouldn't be able to tell why because it's flat as hell because we got that hot comb and if you don't have a hot comb you use a curling wand or something like that um or curling iron whatever use something that has heat and lay your wig completely flat But yeah, you guys, this is the finished result. Honestly, I love this hair. I love the way the install came out. Um, like I said, I took this hair on vacation and it was still bomb. So make sure y'all go on ahead, hit that subscribe button. Go in the description and check out Allie Pearl for more of their details on this wig. But yeah, you guys, I'm done rambling. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the video and enjoy the install. I will see you guys in the next one.